welcome to Color with Donna. And today I have a haul. Um, I had put myself under a no buy, but I found some um, what I believe were new releases, um, at least that I didn't know about. And I picked those up. And then I was at a few dis a discount stores, a couple discount stores, and picked up um, a couple things. And um, I broke my no buy for you guys as well. So I'm going to blame that part on you guys. The rest I'll take full responsibility for. But I wanted to just share that with you guys. And in full honesty and disclosure, I wanted to film my book outlet haul also. But they're not here yet. And I, yeah, I did place an order through Book Outlet for some books that were on my wish list that I found at Book Outlet, but I'm beginning to think they're not going to make it here till Christmas. So I need to get things cleaned up because I have people coming in for the holidays and I need to just get things cleaned up and kind of out of the way. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and film this so I can get them put into their proper places so, without any further ado, let's jump in. If you guys watched my video with Nisi, our live stream, you know that I purchased the um, Koinor Magic Multicolored Pencils, 23 plus one blender. They're pencils that have three colors in one. They are similar to the Koinor Tritone pencils, except they are much fatter and they're triangular. They come in this beautiful box and they are absolutely gorgeous. I look forward to working with these. Um, yes, so I did find out after I received them that the Dow 133 pencil sharpener that I love so much will actually sharpen these larger jumbo size pencils. I actually sharpened the blender to test it and it worked. So I'm super duper excited. I think they're gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous, gorgeous pencils. And um, it comes with a little bit of information. It tells you the colors that you get. And these are just the swatches that I made and just put them down in the box. So this was for you guys, because I knew we were going to be talking about the Tritones, so I wanted to be able to show you guys the Magic Pencils as well, and I needed to um, check them out for myself. When you get them in the mail, they also come in this sleeve that you can slide the box up into. So very, very nice packaging, and I like that very much. And then I just got some silly little, you know, this little silly little thing, but we're going to try it. Um, it is the Ascentos Scented Rainbow Pen. It was a dollar at my local store, and um, it has 10 different colors that you can just push down. I love these kind of pens when I was a kid, and each ink is scented. So I'm going to be playing around with this when I'm, you know, just writing and doodling and things. I thought it would be something neat to play with. Um, not really coloring or crafting related, but I got it and I wanted to show it to you guys. And for the holiday, I also purchased this a little pretty pen here at my local dollar um, store. It was a dollar also, and it just has like a um, wooden soldier all the way around. So it's super duper cute for the holidays also. All right, now when I was at Ross, I found these, and this was the only pack I could find of these, but I'm going to try them. They are a Faber-Castell, and this is the blue-green set of um, paper crafter crayons. It says they are sharpenable, waterproof, permanent, break-resistant, and acid-free. You can use inks, um, Art Grip Aquarels and Gelatos to create wax resistance and so much more. So from what I understand is if wherever you like color with these, like if you were to do a design and then do a, a gelato wash over the top, it would have that color difference because the gelatos is going to resist this wax in these crayons. 
Maybe it does that with Crayola too. I don't know, but they were really cute. They were $2.99 and um, I thought it would be something neat, you know, just to try out. Um, I liked the blue green palette, so I decided why not. And I found this at Ross also. It is a little notepad. This is actually Vera Bradley. And this is my favorite pattern by Vera Bradley. This is the kaleidoscope pattern. And um, I have a kaleidoscope backpack as well as a kaleidoscope purse, but it has these two little things here. And if a pin is slid down in there, it won't open. And I actually have a kaleidoscope pen that I found on, I think I found my pen at Burlington, but so I'll be using that pen maybe in here also, but this will be great for like taking notes and things like that. And um, like I said, it is Vera Bradley. Can you see that? Vera Bradley. And um, it says it's MSRP. It's regularly $18. And I purchased it for $2.99. So yeah, I was super excited to get the little notepad because it's really nice. This is like leather bound almost. I mean, I'm sure it's not real leather, but it has that leather bound feel to it. So it's a, it's a really nice little notebook. And here is something I did not know they had at Dollar General. So you guys that have a Dollar General, keep your eye out. This was actually in the section with like the birthday wrap and things like that. But they are sticky note sets. And um, this was the designs that I was able to find. And these were a dollar each. Just a dollar. So they're really cute. It'll be great for marking pages and things like that. And this is a bigger sticky note here, pad here, and then the small ones, and they were a dollar each. So I thought, yes, why not? Well, a no buy would have been why not, but I didn't listen. And at Dollar General, I saw this cute food advanced coloring. I love the advanced coloring books, the ones that are um, the advanced books. They're made by Benden. Um, I picked it up for $3, and it just has um, food images. Some are cute, some are, you know, just everyday kind of food. And yeah. So I thought this would be really nice <clears throat> to work on in the coming year. And I went by Marshall's which is kind of like a Ross, but a little bit more expensive. And guys, I found one. I finally found one. I told you guys I saw these in a bookstore, but they were a little pricey there. And I was like, eh. And I looked all on Amazon and couldn't find any on Amazon. And I was in Marshall's and I found this one. I'm not necessarily thrilled about like what the image is necessarily, but definitely that I finally found one. Oh. And it is the Crystal Creations. They come in this hard box. And the box opens up like a book. And you have your drill and your, um, what do they call it, like the putty. And all of your gems. And over here is the actual diamond painting that lifts up so you can work on it. So you can keep everything in these little trays when you're working. And it's just so much smaller. It's just the size of like one of our coloring books, maybe. And it's just so much smaller. It's not going to take up a lot of space. So this is what I was telling you guys that I had saw at the bookstore that kind of um, got my curiosity going on this. And so, yeah, so I'm really excited that I found one. It was a $5.99 and I thought the price was right. This will be the first time I've really tried diamond painting. And we'll see what I think. I don't really have anywhere until I move um, to actually truly do like a full diamond painting type thing um, because of storage issues and things like that. But this will at least give me an opportunity to test it. Apparently, this is made by Hinkler at www.hinkler.com. I looked on their website and even there I could not find these. 
Um, I did find two at Book Outlet, which is what led me to Book Outlet, but they wanted like $12 each for them on Book Outlet. And I was like, yeah, I think that's a little much because I know I can probably buy actual diamond paintings cheaper than that, like off of Amazon. So I didn't get it, any of those off of Book Outlet. But yeah, so this is what I was telling you guys about before that was like a book type diamond painting. So it's really pretty. So if you guys see any of these at any other local stores, decently priced, shoot me a message because um, these kits like this, I would really like. There is a, a unicorn one and a peacock one, and I would really like to try those. Those are the ones that they had at Book Outlet, but yeah, not for $12. So yeah. Okay. Now, Gary and I had to go to Walmart the other day and I found these three books and I did have to pay full price for them, but, um, I looked on Amazon and the prices were the same on Amazon too. So I was like, okay, um, this is baby unicorns by Jeanette Wimmel. It is a Zen doodle coloring book and she has a, another like unicorn fiesta book coming out after the first of the year that I plan to get. I just recently did get unicorn dance party. So, yeah, because we know I love my unicorns. So I was excited to see this book because I didn't know about it. And so I picked this one up and it's got a gorgeous cover. It's like shiny. And then I found A Mindful Journey by Nic Nicolette Corley. This is a Zen Doodle color skate book. It's a little different than the Zen Doodle coloring books. I think the paper is a little thinner in these. But um, the other books have a tendency to have that thicker paper that really, really, really sucks up markers and things. This one is a little more, I think it's closer to like Amazon paper maybe, maybe a little thicker in the ones that says Colorscapes. But I've had a Colorscape book before that I did like. And this is the Nicolette Corley one. And there was a lot of nice little images in here that I thought I would enjoy to color. So... And Gary so graciously let me pick this one up. Very pretty shiny cover as well. And then finally at Walmart, I found this and I, this is, oh, this is it. <laughs> this is where it's at, people. Unicorns and Mystical Creatures Glow in the Dark Manga Coloring Book. It's by Ben Krefta. And it's really, really cute. It has areas in it very similar to like that glitter book that I showed you guys. Um, and those are the areas that will have the glow in the dark effect. It is a double sided book, which I'm not totally thrilled about, you know, but it is what it is. It's like you see this here. Can you see that? This is the glow in the dark areas. It does very much feel like that. A glitter did which makes me wonder if I should hold that glitter book in the dark hold it in the light and then put it in the dark and see what happens just to see I'm not sure but um this does have that yellowish glow in the dark look but I think it'll be really fun on some of these pages and the book is just it's got some really really nice images you know, a sorcerers and witches and unicorns and Norwals and, um, you know, like, look at this. This is a seahorsey corn. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you would call that, but I love the different types of animals that you turn into unicorns, you know, like catty corns and puggy corns and all of those too. So it was just kind of right up my alley. Um, I fell in love with uh, Dierico's work over the Halloween season. And um, this just, of course, this doesn't look like Dierico's art necessarily, but it is sort of kind of the same type style, I guess you could say, maybe. I don't know. But um, so, yeah, I, I really like it. And um, I'm going to try my hand at these in the coming year. And I'm super excited about that. So as you see, there's a lot of really nice images to work with. Okay, so I found that one. And then I received um, a little bit of happy mail that I wanted to share with you. This is from the a beautiful Deb um, Lawrence. She sent me 
Alice's Absurd Search for a Sockness. This is loosely based on Alice in Wonderland um, from J.A. Early Riser and T.J. Crayons. Of course, this book has been around for a, a while, but it's kind of new to me. Um, I just recently started looking at some of, um, of the absurd books, and some of them are really cute, and I like them. Um, so Deb so graciously sent me the, the one that's based off Alice in Wonderland because she knows I love Alice in Wonderland. So I'm super excited to have that. And then she sent me Maydella's. This is number one. This is a book by May Klein, 25 Mandela images. Um, there is three more. There's a two, three, and a four. And I do hope to get them, but this gave me the opportunity to look at the books and um, see what I thought about them. Um, and I do really like the way these mandalas are laid out. It is on the same paper, I think, as like Bennett Klein books. And I was really disappointed in Bennett Klein's paper, but um, I'm still gonna try these because I love May Klein's, um, the real abstractness of the, the mandalas that she draws. And so this was her very first book. And as you go along, there's different styles and things like that within the book, much like Bennett's work. And so, yeah, I really look forward to getting um, books two, three, and four. So hopefully sometime after Christmas, I'll be able to pick those up. So uh, thank you so much, Deb. I appreciate um, the happy mail. It makes you so happy um, when you get the happy mail and... Um, you know, it gives me things to use on the channel and to show you guys, and it's just really thrilling. So yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in to my little haul video. Um, I'm sorry I disappointed you and broke my no buy, but I guess maybe that's what no buys are meant for, you know, break them, just break them. Um, life is short, buy the shoes, right? All right, and in our case, buy the book. So, all right, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of my future videos. Please hit the like button, um, leave me a comment, it helps the channel so much. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys.